Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a requested video about what to wear whilst you're riding. So let's get started. So the first thing is that we're going to do is your what to wear on your legs. I'm wearing leggings, I wore leggings whilst riding today, which is fine. You're allowed to wear leggings whilst riding. Um, but I guess if you're a beginner rider then it's not really a good idea because they are quite slippy and you need to grip around here and they don't really have a lot of grip so it can be really bad for your balance like if you're just starting out you need to have a lot of balance so it is advised that you wear drippers I have loads of pairs, these aren't all of them, these are only four pairs that I have so they come in lots of different designs and colours. These have little horse heads on them, which are really cool. All my droppers are second hand. They come from a second hand store or they get passed down from my aunt because I'm nearly its daughter. So these are all second hand. Um, and then I've got some show ones. I normally wear these for shows, but I do wear them riding as well because there's nothing wrong with them. These are passed down from my arms, and these are kind of like a red sort of colour with little checks. They're really cute. And then I've just got some black ones which could look like leggings. So if you don't want to be seen like wearing toppers, get some black ones because then people just think you're wearing leggings. So yeah, that's about it. Next we'll move on to shirts. You don't really have to wear a particular shirt for horse riding, it's only like pleasure. You know, unless you're doing a show or something, then you should probably wear like a shirt or something. But if you're not going to bother showing or you're not at that stage yet, then just wear anything you want. Like today, I literally just wore this jumper and a coat because it was like cold. And then I literally, I wore two jumpers. I forgot about that. And then I just wore one of my Mayday Parade tops. So, but here is a little horsey top that I got for Christmas one year for my gran. So anything you want to wear it's really cute especially horse shops next is a pretty important part to riding which this is basically essential to riding and I really don't like people that think that just because they have their own horse they can do whatever they like and don't wear a helmet because if you get seriously injured or you die it's your fault no one else's you decided not to wear a helmet so it's your fault if you die or not so this is my first ever hat and it just about fits me. It's really squeezing on my brain right now so I'm going to hurry up before I get a migraine. So yeah, this may look boring to you but to the side of me, I have three of my old silks that I used to use. I do have another one but it's down at the barn so I can't show you that. Um, this one, it has a little thingy, just ignore that. That was from Fancy Dress. So you literally just slip it over like that and like adjust it however you want it to look like that and then it just jizzes up it a bit so yeah and then I also have a black one that I used for showing just to make it look a bit more professional and then I have this one as well which is kind of like a little jockey hat so you can just buy those at your local tax store if you're uncomfortable with wearing a skull cap um, my current hat is actually a velvet one, so you don't really use these, but yeah, there are some things somewhere that you can get to like jazz them up, I think, but this is what I used to use with my skull caps. Next on to what shoes you should wear, uh, my shoes are actually in the car because they are very muddy because it is winter and the field is like a bog, so I don't have any to show you, but just pop down to your tax store and get, you can either get long black boots or brown boots, whatever you prefer. And, or you can get little jumper boots, they're like little ankle boots. You probably know what I mean if you're an equestrian, but if you're new to riding you may not know. So if you just want to pop down to your local tax store or look them up online, sometimes they can be quite expensive, so choose where you go, find whatever's cheapest. My tax store is pretty cheap because it's mostly second hand but there are some new stuff so I can't really tell you like where to go or anything because I don't really know but there are some brilliant places out there so stay safe have fun and I'll see you next time bye